So today we're exploring Bundle Notes, and Bundle Notes is a fairly new, modern note taking application started in around December 2019. And it's only available on Android via Google Play with a pro experience that's in the pro package offering the web application. Now its special features include board view, rich markdown and bundle organization, so we're going to explore it in today's video. Today's video is actually sponsored by Taskade, here's a little bit more about them. This month here on Keep Productive, we're sponsored by Taskade. Taskade is an all-in-one collaboration tool for working faster, smarter and together. I followed their journey since the early days and I've been impressed with their product that they've built. Taskade isn't just for your task, it helps you manage projects with a range of views. They collaborate together in real time, even through video. You can use templates and workspaces to create your own notes, documents, mind maps and much more. So you can change a collaborative task list into a mind map by click of a button. Taskade is used by small to medium sized teams for working together, but it's also a favorite amongst personal users thanks to the flexibility of the tool, allowing you to create everything from a bujo to a powerful to-do list. Each project as well supports chat and video conferencing too. You can get Taskade below for free, available on all of your devices, and for teams, pricing plans start at $5 per user per month. Thanks again to Taskade for coming on as a sponsor. So we'll be covering the Android application. This is something I don't do very often, but I got to play around with the bundled application. I actually used a lot of the video from the Bundled Notes YouTube channel here. Um, Xavier, who is their solo developer of, of Bundled, seems like a nice chap and he talked us around the application. So I'm gonna use a lot of his footage because it does represent some of the features in a really good light. So I'll include that full video below if you did want to skip and watch how he explains it. So let's start on the design aspect. This is a really well-built, colorful design application. And Xavier himself mentions that it's very similar to Google Keep in a sense, in allowing you to create very simple checklists and organizing your work a bit like post-it notes. But what I would say about this application is the design, whilst being similar to Google Keep, has a much richer looking experience. And it also goes a lot further than Google Keep, which we'll talk about in the feature section. So I'm pretty impressed by the design and how they've uh, embedded the colors, also put together um, using it with the markdown as well. It all seems very easy to do. That's why I'm giving the design an 8.2 out of 10. The features are where it takes it above a Google Keep as a level of application. Essentially, you have checklists in the applications. They're actually called bundles, but you can configure your bundles to meet a variety of different needs. For example, if you wanted to create a project, you can create a Kanban board. If you wanted to create a simple list, you can do that. You can optimize and change the way that your notes actually look inside of the bundle. And there's loads of great tagging options and filtering, which really does customize your experience. There was a great demonstration where he listed all the um, films that he had watched um, or is going to watch, and he actually was able to use a tagging to filter them down based on their rating and even the genre that they actually were set in. So the tagging is something that you can even configure it in advance uh, in quite a high level of detail. It does have rich Markdown editor, which does work well, allows you to do all of the regular stuff you'd expect in Markdown, and allows you to do some basic project management with the Kanban boards coming in like a rose at the bottom, something I'll mention in the usability section. But I give the features a 7.5 out of 10 because they seem to pack quite a lot into this application, despite it being very similar to Google Keep. So pricing, pricing is actually $1.89 per month or $15 per year, which for an application like this isn't as bad as you think. If you compare it to the likes of say Bear Notes, it is in comparable pricing. So that's why I didn't give it a stupidly high rating because I think Bear tends to pack more into their application, especially it being available on uh, Mac, iOS, and soon to be on web. So they do, I think, in my opinion, uh, deserve more because they have a, a overall better pricing. However, the pricing, I would say, is a good experience. Um, and for what you get, it's reasonable. So I'm giving it a 7.4 out of 10. 
So usability, I mentioned it's available on Google Play on Android devices. It's also got a web application which can be unlocked with the Pro account. Now, in my opinion, it does take a little bit of learning to get used to this application. It's super customizable. So even from the video demo that Xavier went through, it actually is quite detailed. So that's something to expect in this application. So it's sort of a pro and a con because um, once you do learn it, you have a lot of abilities to work on, especially if you're creating checklists, notes for yourself in a lightweight fashion. However, it um, can take a little bit of time to tinker around with and work out how to fully customize it to your needs. The other thing as well I was impressed at is the way that the boards work in the application. Kanban boards can sometimes be really horrible experience on mobile devices and that's simply because the portrait mode is quite difficult to move stuff between sections. However, I really like how that they, they actually develop bundle where you can swipe it to the next Kanban um, column, which is actually a huge time saver. So overall, I'm actually going to give the usability of this application a 7.1. I'm not going to give it any more than that, only because um, they obviously have uh, cross plat they don't have cross-platform fully yet, which is something to note. But this is a great option for Androiders. So my overall opinion on this, um, it's a colourful Android option for group for note takers. It's sort of like if Google Keep. Um, was a plus version. Um, it's sort of like if Google Keep actually continued developing um, and it's a very nice, it's actually quietly impressive as an application um, and it's great to have such a nice option only available on Android because I'm always talking about the iOS versions um, and uh, this is actually decent. It's actually got an iOS planned. Uh, apparently it launched out of beta in December 2020. So it's only really been around for like s close to six months now. So that's still a decent amount of time for them to have done such a great job with this app. So I'm gonna give it, in my opinion, a 7.8 out of 10. So the overall scoring brings it to a 7.6 out of 10, which is actually a decent overall uh, bet. If you're an Androider and you are looking for a good note taker that is reliable, but works in its own system, allowing you to configure certain setups, tags, and uses rich markdown, this could be a great option for you. Hopefully we'll be able to do a web version review very soon, um, but this is a good overall experience for a note taker. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's feature. Let me know what you think in the description below and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.